The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with their tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and Country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for first recruit training battalion, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck. Morning, ladies. Good time. Good morning, gentlemen. We'll get there. Take two. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Ryans, and the Regimental Commander, Colonel Rumler, Welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the graduation ceremony for Bravo Company. I'd also like to extend a special welcome to today's parade reviewing official whose impressive bio you'll hear in a moment, the Chief Engineer for the Marine Corps, Mr. Grant. Welcome, sir. Today's ceremony recognizes your new Marine and all they've accomplished in the last 13 weeks, gathering here as individuals from all corners of the globe and all walks of life. They stepped onto the legendary yellow footprints and into uncertainty, but they dug deep. They trained hard. They came together and stand before you as a confident team of Marines, the best this nation has to offer. Now, this magical transformation didn't happen on its own, so I'd like to thank those that made it possible. First, the foundation of their character wasn't made here. It was made in your homes, in your schools, and in your communities. So thank you to the parents, teachers, families, friends, and coaches for your love, your support, and for many, your signature on the contract that set the conditions vital to their success. Give yourself a round of applause, please. Second, spectacular drill instructors who spent every moment teaching, training, mentoring, and leading these Marines. Their dedication and work ethic has left a tremendous and lasting, and lasting impact on your loved one who will always remember and appreciate their efforts. Now the drill instructors and officers are able to commit themselves to the business of making Marines because of the love and support of their families who also join us in the audience today. Please join me in a well-deserved round of applause for the drill instructors and families of Bravo Company. I'd also like to recognize the martial arts, marksmanship, water survival, and academics instructors, our outstanding chaplain, corpsman, and the entire medical team who've done a tremendous job keeping us physically, mentally, and spiritually strong. And of course, the dedicated recruiter that saw potential in your Marine. In fact, joining us today from Weapons Field Training Battalion is Sergeant Bulna, responsible for training the platoon with the highest rifle qualification score. And joining us from Denver, Colorado, is Staff Sergeant Corsetti, responsible for recruiting today's honor graduate. Outstanding work, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll address the Marines one last time as their battalion commander. Good morning, Marines. I mean, you gotta love that, right? All right, we got some manners, we got some discipline. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> you made it to graduation. You earn the Eagle Globe and Anchor, and you earn the look of pride on your loved one's face across this parade deck. It took you 13 weeks to earn this feeling, but it doesn't stop here. 
We promised you a challenge, and we will continue to deliver. You must continue to earn the title every day to honor the legacy of those that came before you and blaze a trail for the next wave of warriors. The Marine Corps will be what you make it, so never forget the skills, the spirit, and the values that have been drilled into you, and I guarantee your success. You are the future of the Marine Corps and the future of this great institution. So stand tall, take charge, and when you get home, introduce your buddies to your local recruiters. Congratulations, Marines. Thank you for all your hard work and for your commitment to serve this great nation. Take care of each other. Take care of each other and cultivate the relationships you've made with your fellow Marines. They'll serve you well. Welcome to the Corps, Semper Fidelis. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Mr. Timothy M. Graham, Deputy to the Commander, Systems Engineering and Acquisitions Logistics Marine Corps Systems Command. He is accompanied by Brigadier General James A. Ryans II, Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region. Mr. Timothy M. Graham. Mr. Graham currently serves as United States Marine Corps Chief Engineer and Deputy to the Commander, Systems Engineering and Acquisitions Logistics for Marine Corps Systems Command. Mr. Graham has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Assistant Chief Engineer for Mission Capability at Naval Information Warfare Systems Command, Technical Authority and Deputy Warning Officer for Naval Information Warfare Domain, Deputy Chief Engineer and Senior Scientific Technical Manager at Naval Information Warfare Center Pacific. Chief Engineer for multiple Department of Defense acquisition Category 1 programs. Mr. Grant was appointed to Senior Executive Service in 2020. Mr. Graham holds Bachelor's Degree in Computer Science and a Master's Degree in System Engineering Management. Mr. Graham has received numerous performance and leadership awards, including the Navy Superior Civilian Service Award from Commander Pacific Fleet in 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Timothy M. Graham. The pass and review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
more than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marja, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, Captain Christopher M. Guerra, and the Regimental Staff. Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Series 1021, Series Commander, Captain Corey A. Patton. One, one. Platoon 1021, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant John P. Laola. Platoon 1022, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Julio C. Mayorga. Platoon 1023, Senior Drill Instructor Gunnery Sergeant Creses Yano Reyes. The 
the Regimental Color Guard is led on the march by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor, Sergeant Rodolfo Navarrete. Series 1025, Series Commander, Captain David L. Og, and Platoon 1025, Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant Fernando S. Anzandua. Platoon 1026, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Blake A. Kendricks. Platoon 1027, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Eugene J. Galvan. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine's Hymn. The Marine's Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marine's Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Thank you. Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength is that as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed, nurtured, and ingrained in recruits through their observance in relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the Marine Corps.
Although Company B prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Christopher M. Guerra. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Jason D. Brooks. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company B. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as a platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.
The honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Roger A. Hollenbeck, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Rashad M. Browning. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. The honor graduate for platoon 1021 and the company honor graduate is Private First Class Landon C. Ariaga from Granby, Colorado. Private First Class Ariaga is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for platoon 1022 is Private First Class Dalen J. Pressler from Phoenix, Arizona. The honor graduate for platoon 1023 is Private First Class Michael J. Angeles from Austin, Texas. The honor graduate for platoon 1025 is Private First Class Abraham Echevarria from Pico Rivera, California. The honor graduate for platoon 1026 and the series honor graduate is Private First Class Bain W. Thomas from Placerville, California. And the honor graduate for platoon 1027 is Private First Class Miles A. Stowe from Pollock Pines, California. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Company B. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.